Hey guys, it's Siobhan with Tikiti and Beyond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick energy update for the Leo full moon and some of the energy that we've been going through lately. So first and foremost, today or tomorrow, depending on where you live on the planet, we are experiencing the Leo full moon. So this is also a super moon and I think it's a, a triplicate super moon, at least three or four. Don't quote me on that, but there's a, a big, big energy that's coming with each of these full moons over the next few months. So this is the beginning of that and the super moon, the Leo moons, <laughs> Leo moon is highly supercharged. There's an energy of passion. There's an energy of fire. There's this energy of really pushing ourselves outside of our comfort zone and stepping into our power. I've been seeing themes of empowerment come up in the readings um, with clients and Reiki sessions, and it's really, uh, it's about standing in who we are and being proud of that, being strong in that and feeling confident about what we can do, why we're here, and and how we look at ourselves. So this is an opportunity for us to really stand in that power and embrace what we have to to share and what we have to give to the world. And I think that sometimes there's fear around that. There's fear around getting outside of our comfort zone and pushing ourselves outside of our box. But it's necessary um, not only for the world, but for ourselves and proving to ourselves that we can push our, ourselves outside of where we're comfortable. It encourages us to continue to try new things that will push our boundaries and expand us. Because if we only stay within the limits of our fear, we don't go very far. And that neither ser serves us nor the world uh, and the ascension of humanity. So this is really about standing in who we are at soul level, not who we are at, at the human level of mind. And I've been getting a lot of information coming through um, clairvoyantly around an initiation that we're going through right now. There's been um, a period of calm that precedes the high level influxes of energy that seems to be a pretty common theme. There's like a week long period of calm on the Schumann resonance and then all of a sudden we get this pillaring effect and then we have this high intensity period that lasts for an extended period of time, um, sometimes uh, for hours, sometimes for days and so on. So we're going through these periodic initiations and what I've been tuning into is a lot of spiritual renewal and rejuvenation. It's almost like this birth process and we're going through rapid acceleration of cellular renewal as well as spiritual energetic renewal. So there's major, major breakthroughs as it applies to breaking free from old patterns, shedding the barriers, shedding the karmic structures, programs, beliefs, mechanisms that uh, ultimately stem from fear and separation. And we're coming back into the state of unity. Now, this is not all happening overnight, um, but we are kind of being initiated through trial by fire to some in some respects, for some people, this will be more extreme than others. But to some extent, everybody's kind of experiencing this energy where it's it's a little bit overwhelming. But when you push through that um, feeling of resistance and the uncomfortableness at where you're at, and you just accept it and you surrender to it, and you are open to what it's trying to teach you and what it's trying to give to you as a gift... When that perspective shifts, we're able to open up and accept. We're able to grow, expand, and evolve. And I'm seeing this on so many different levels with myself, with my my friends, my loved ones, and with clients. So this is, you know, it's, it's very much an integration phase. Um, but it's more so this... It just feels like a transformation. There's there's a there's so much inner transformation happening right now, and it feels like the fire of of Sekhmet of um, you know the lion, the Leo fire, the sun energy, 
Um, the sun was actually the card of the day yesterday. So this sun energy is really coming forward. It's bringing new clarity, renewal, um, growth, and a shift in perspective. It, it's almost as though as soon as you change your mind, everything around you changes. Your energy changes, your body changes, um, your situation changes, the people around you change. Everything shifts when you change how you see something. It, it really is profound and it has to be experienced subjectively. You can't learn this kind of a thing from somebody else. You can't learn this by reading a book. You can't learn this by um, taking a class. This is something that has to happen through experience. And that's what this trial by fire is all about. It's giving us these experiences, whether they're pleasant or unpleasant, that assist us in, in breaking through those barriers of self, breaking through those mental limitations and freeing ourselves from within and then experiencing the shift energetically. So I hope everybody's doing well <laughs> through this massive energetic transformation, this full moon portal. And as we enter into what I'm really feeling is the age of Aquarius. I, I know that there's some contention around when the age of Aquarius actually begins or began. I feel like we're really coming into it. We're stepping into it now. And it's going to be a long road. It doesn't all happen at once or overnight. We're still in this rebirth phase where we're transforming, we're shifting. We are at the ground level remaking ourselves at a cellular level, at the level of DNA, through consciousness and epigenetics, we are remaking ourselves. And we're starting to see the results of that. Um, now, one other thing that I wanted to mention is that this is a year of unity, but it's also a year of division. And I, I'm seeing a lot of uh, the split starting to take place. I mean, it's already been there, but it's becoming more predominant, more prevalent now as the the dark and the light sort of part ways um, within society and there's a, a big gap between those who are on this this awakening journey and those who um, are not and who resist it. Now the key here is that we're not separate from either side. We are both sides. We're all one. So it, it's it's not about the division. The division is only there to bring this to our awareness, to see the duality and to bring that into harmony, bring that into unity. And that's going to happen with time. So like I was saying with the trial by fire, it's almost like at a larger scale, on a world scale, things may get worse before they get better because it's that fire that needs to burn. It needs to, it needs to transmute, to cleanse, to heal so that we can have that shifted perspective because without the darkness, without the dark night of the soul, we wouldn't get pushed to that limit where we're forced to step outside of our comfort zone. Um, without the dark night of the soul, without the shadow work, without the shadow self, we would never really understand the context of what it is to step into the light without having the perspective from both sides. So that's pretty much what I wanted to share for today. This Leo new moon, sorry, not new moon, full moon is a big opportunity for release. So if you have some kind of a particular ritual that you feel called to do, whether it's journaling, dancing, burning something, um, preferably just writing your thoughts that you want to release down and burning them, not actually going out and burning something. <laughs> um, or just taking a nice bath and relaxing or talking to a friend. Whatever it is that you choose to do, may it provide you the perspective and the transformation that you need through this portal. Um, so thank you guys so much for being here, not only on this channel, but on earth at this time through the ascension process as we go through these trials and as we basically evolve as souls in the physical body through these initiation phases. It's quite a gift to be here. So thank you for being here with, with all of us together. 
it's it really is a team effort. So <laughs> that being said, if any of you guys need any support, um, clarity, guidance, insight, or anything else, healing, love, please reach out to me at services.tokittyandbeyond at gmail.com. I've also got the um, full moon tarot reading, which is the current promotion for the full moon. So it is a four card spread delivered via email. It's $22 Canadian um, via PayPal or e-transfer. And it's a 24 hour turnaround, depending on how many orders I get. The energy of the full moon and the tarot card reading lasts 30 days. But then again, energy is not necessarily linear and it doesn't abide by the type of time that we designate. So the energy can continue forward from there but it's just giving you an indication of what you're what you're working with through the full moon what you're releasing and what the outcome will be and I'm also still offering the 33% off of my Reiki services as this has been so transformational of a time I've continued to keep that reduced pricing as it is really bringing so many new souls forward for healing and the 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 Reiki sessions have just been so transformational so beautiful um and so powerful, so, so powerful. So for those of you who have, who have connected for a Reiki session, thank you so much for allowing me to participate in your healing, um, allowing me to hold space for you through this amazing, beautiful soul transformation. And, um, and I hope to see more of you face-to-face on Skype for these sessions because they are absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Okay, thanks so much, guys, for being here. Um, If you resonated, don't forget to like the video as it helps boost the algorithm so more people can see and hear um, some of this content so that they can have the guidance that they need through this spiritual journey. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.